Howard here again with uh, Get Back by the Beatles, of course. And uh, I think what I'm going to do with this one is uh, what I did with Sun King in a previous video. I'm just going to mosh the two guitar parts together, kind of do a composite of both John and George's guitar parts, which I think makes it sound nice and full on one guitar and uh, also makes it uh, pretty fun to play as well. It captures the predominant parts from both guys. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoy it. And if you do, as always, please subscribe if you haven't. Uh, hit the like button, ring a bell, anything you feel like doing, okay? So uh, thanks again for watching. And uh, again, I hope you enjoy the video. My apologies for the uh, fretboard. <laughs> this puppy's been clocking in about 10 hours a day, five days a week right now in my uh, teaching studio. Anyway, let's just get started with the first thing, which is an A chord at the second fret, barred with your first finger, of course. And what we want to do to capture this moment is uh, a little bit of muting in the back here, slight palm muting the side of your hand, just resting against the bridge, right where the strings come out, depending on your guitar, okay? We hit the A string with a down stroke, and then with an up stroke, from the G string, the third string from the bottom, one, two, three, we want an upstroke. Like so. And with the muting and the stroking and the barring of the A chord, it should sound pretty good. So you start off kind of soft and then build up to a crescendo. a G to a D chord and that's your brief intro and then you're into the first verse and we're gonna grab John's part predominantly here which is a standard Chuck Berry boogie pattern right you got a power chord at the fifth fret on the top string five and seven and with your pinky, you're reaching over to the ninth fret on the second from the top string or the fifth string on your guitar. Good old 50s rock and roll right there. And even though the pattern is basically one, two, three, four, you keep your right hand going with eighth notes, one and two and three and four. After you've played that four times, move the exact same shape and the exact same configuration up to the 10th fret for two times. Just like so. All right, so let's put the intro and that together. Encounter the first lead lick, which is played by John. And you play that right after you play the chord up here on the 10th fret. how he crosses back over to the rhythm guitar after he finishes the lick. It's really great because on the recording you can kind of hear an open E string a little bit as he grabs the chord. But I think the point is just to grab the chord uh, as quickly as you can and keep it keep the momentum going. After you've played that part twice, then we move into uh, the little lick that he plays over the chorus. And that is played like so. 
Okay, and what I like to do, uh, if you can muster it up, <laughs> is throw the G and the D in there. Again, Lennon doesn't actually do that. He just plays what I just played, but it's kind of cool if you can fit it in there, okay? Admittedly, that's a little bit difficult to shove the G and the D chord in it, but it sounds kind of cool if you do it, okay? And this brings us to uh, John's first guitar solo. And again, I tossed in the G and the D chord in between. John doesn't actually do that, but it's kind of cool if you want to toss it in. So anyway, here's the solo, nice and slow, uh, with the tab up on the screen. And then we're into the next bit, uh, which is kind of a, another chorus. You know, get back to a very interestingly arranged tune. So what I've done there is I've added uh, Billy Preston's uh, little keyboard lick at the tail end of that chorus right there, which is really fun to play on guitar. so on and so forth. That's really cool to play on guitar. Uh, each of the patterns is up on the screen in tab, uh, but keep in mind that uh, to capture what he did, you want to slide into each one a half step away. <laughs> Now that's basically the song. You have the whole tune for uh, Get Back. Yeah, a lot of stuff's gonna repeat, all that stuff. But John plays a variation of the solo uh, toward the tail end of the song. It's, it's basically the same solo, but he's just kind of mixing things up a little bit. So let me play that one slow for you and uh, with the tab up on the screen. So I hope that uh, kind of brings Get Back together for you, kind of moshing up the two guitar parts. And uh, I hope you have fun playing it.